all, it's James Johnson, aka Sulfur Blade, and I'm back here with Pete Buttigieg, part two. So, I did a video recently uh, that basically showed Pete Buttigieg. How should I word this? Basically, showed Pete Buttigieg getting out of his. SUV contingent and getting onto a bicycle to then bike a short ways to his meeting. This is what happened. However, as with everything these days, this has been fact checked. So let's let's look at the fact check first. This is by Snopes, mind you. Did Pete Buttigieg stage a bike ride after riding in SUV? The transportation secretary secretary has been described as a bike enthusiast. Claim U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg was caught on camera staging a short bike ride after riding in an SUV. False, according to Snopes. On April 1st, 2021, a video showing U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg unloading a bike from an SUV was shared on social media. Conservative commentator Dinesh D'Souza published Buttigieg caught faking green lifestyle, rides bike to work after car drops him off near destination. A headline on the Post Millennium reads, Watch environmentalist Buttigieg unload bike from SUV before riding short distance to his destination. A number of YouTube users, including conservative commentator Charlie Kirk, also shared the video in question. Twitter user at Zeroland tweeted that it was Buttigieg's dog and pony show. He claimed using an armored Suburban to bring a bike within a short distance of the destination, unload it, and ride it with security detail in tow, pretending to save energy. These headlines, YouTube videos, titles, and tweets were all misleading and false. Buttigieg was not caught on camera staging a bike riding, according to Stopes. All right, I could just... I could continue with all of this crap, but Snopes has fast checked, has fact checked it as false. Now, what's the New York Post think about it? Well, they're they're delivering this more like a news source should deliver this type of thing. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg was mocked by conservative critics online after a video appeared to show security staffers unload his bike from the back of an SUV so that he could ride to an April 1st cabinet meeting. Here's the Buttigieg of the jokes. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg was mocked by conservative critics online after a video appeared to show security staffer unloading his bike from the back of an SUV so that he could ride to an April 1st cabinet meeting. Two SUV, SUVs then followed the millennial cabinet secretary to his meeting as he pedaled off. Full video was posted online by local WFMZ TV. Caught in the act, said right-wing author and filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza on Twitter, and Pete Buttigieg has a history of gimmicky stunts just for show, like doing a desk job at a military base for a few weeks, then trying to pose as a combat veteran. Now this phony stunt, added radio host Mark Simone. He rode his bike to the White House cabinet meeting, and he rode his bike back to DOT after meeting, Department of Transportation told the Post. All right, so... What what do I think? So, of course, this is my opinion. 
I am not a reporter. My videos are opinion pieces, so take them with a grain of salt. I think there's a fair chance I might be wrong about this. I'll, I'll put it somewhere in the 30 to 40 percentile. I'm 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 not completely convinced that this was a dog and pony show. However, it sure looks like one. But I'm leaning towards it was a dog and pony show. Because let's use some of Snopes's words, shall we? The transportation secretary has been described as a bike enthusiast. I personally am a bike enthusiast. I have a mountain bike that I've I've ridden on various trails all over the country. As a bike enthusiast, okay, let's 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 back backtrack. There's a, there's a point I'm making here. Vehicle was being repaired. I I've I've experienced uh, times in my life when I actually rode my bike to work. And work at the time was wearing a tie, was wearing a dress shirt, was wearing slacks, was wearing uh, dress shoes. I'm going to tell you right now, as a bike enthusiast, there was nothing enthusiastically enjoyable about riding my bike to work wearing that type of attire. In fact, it pretty much sucked and I didn't have to go very far it was maybe a mile so even after a fairly short trip like a one mile trip you're going to perspire nobody wants to be at work in a dress shirt and tie with perspiration. I mean, it's going to happen, right? You're you're wearing a suit and tie. Your your body is going to get hot through the course of the day. You are going to perspire. But you don't want to start the day from 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 minute 1 in that situation. It, it's 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 just not it's not conducive to a good working environment. It really isn't. So for this narrative to be portrayed as he's, he's so enthusiastic about bike riding that he was purposely putting himself in that position, uh, I gotta call bullshit. I mean, seriously, he was in his suit and tie. He had his dress shoes on. I mean, this is a this is a transportation secretary. Are you telling me that uh, he can't wear actual I don't know appropriate attire, and his security detail can't carry his suit and tie to said destination, and he can't change wherever he's going? Seriously, everything about this screams that it's a dog and pony show especially because of the attire he is wearing in this video uh, you know and that's why I'm you know 70 30 or 60 40 on this I I, I I'm not completely convinced that it's a dog and pony show, but the the common sense factor screams it's a dog and pony show, right? But then again, we are talking about a Democrat. We are talking about a crazy liberal, and you know they don't exactly have a lot of common sense. Maybe he indeed 
truly is a bike enthusiast that truly enjoys starting his work day off as sweaty as possible after a nice long bike trip in his suit and tie. But that just leaves me scratching my head saying, what the fuck? Anyway, but that's that's about all I'm going to add to this to this topic. Um, obviously, my first video shows the video in question, and now we're we're going over the fact that Democrats do what they always do: they fact check everything into oblivion. They they literally have the fact checkers on their payroll, and right here we see Snopes claiming. No, no, no. This is false. He's a bike enthusiast. Well, I'll leave it up to you, the viewer, to decide if this was false or not. Because I believe you, the viewer, is smart enough to come to this decision on your own. Anyway, I'm James Johnson, a.k.a. Solver Blade. This is my content. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time, all... Peace.